Good morning, guys. Um, I kind of promised some vlogs from Thailand. Wasn't sure if I want to do this, but maybe I should. So this is uh, one day in the life of a automated programmer uh, slash trader in Thailand. I just had breakfast. I forgot to film this and now I will go for a run. So dress up. Let's go. Sun is not even out. You can see it in the background, but sunscreen is still a lifesaver for people with a light skin like I have. And I know when I will come back, the sun will be shining like hell. back in the apartment and after the first shower of the day I feel like a normal human being. Second breakfast I usually do this when I run or a workout session in the morning. Like for first breakfast I just had some rice with some eggs and now I'm having the steaks and the rest of the rice that I had prepared yesterday. I am checking or catching up on the YouTube comments. That's what I usually do in the morning. Thanks for all the feedback guys. I will answer these in a second. And also I'm checking like what happened yesterday with the trades. And yesterday actually there was a really good trade in USD Japanese Yen. Not so good trade in GBPUS dollar because this trade was doing way better and then it really came back just before the day. But um, yeah, you know, as always, that's how it is. That's how trading is. I cannot really influence this because I trade automatically and I know that in the long run it should be profitable. So yeah, let me just finish my food and answer to your comments. Mm. Guys, quick update. I'm a fucking god in the kitchen. another video on this channel and today I will show you one of my live trading accounts that I have for multiple years now and you can see it here in the trade buddy trading journal this is showing trades from the end of 2017 also you will learn what strategies I use to generate this performance of course I could have made more profit or less it always depends on the risk that's what trading is right so let's have a look now at the account so you can see this is an actual live account that you believe me everything is 100% real <laughs>
back at home, I quickly checked the market open in the US Japanese yen, or it's actually like not the market open because it's a forex pair, but it's when my uh, strategy tra starts trading and you can see now I placed the orders here. And um, what is really interesting or important is the size of the range on every single day. Because if we have a look at the last ranges for the last days in USD Japanese Yen, you can see it on the screen right now. The range today is relatively small, which means that for the accounts where I trade with the variable risk, it's a really big lot size. You know, we can see it here in the 10K account and also here in the 100K account. This is a really big lot size, which means that today's trading day could be a either good day if there's a strong move in one direction could also be a very very bad day if there are just two quick stop outs but yeah we will see i always check the markets from time to time during the day but of course i do not sit in front of the pc all the day because it just makes no sense uh, so i will meet a friend johannes in a second um, we will go for lunch and it's my third time i'm applying sunscreen guys better being safe than sorry <laughs> That's a super Mexican bowl. lunch eating cake and losing unfortunately chess to Johannes um, I just went back to the apartment and actually in the afternoon I was just chilling a lot uh, doing some work on the PC but also was just laying around uh, especially in these hot temperatures here in Thailand I often feel a bit tired in the afternoon but now it's um, it's dark outside so it's time for dinner I didn't have to put sunscreen on this time but yeah I will now walk to a night market and have some dinner and afterwards uh, Johannes and um, his girlfriend they will join me and we want to go to some jazz bar for a nice and chill evening so yeah I think I will make some videos of this and then in the end we will talk again in the apartment when I'm back and we can have a little summary of the day and also like have a look at the trades that are still running of course I'm not looking at it too frequently just checking it on my phone I mean there's nothing I can do right now also the day is completely flat so there's no actual movement one USD Japanese yen trade is lost because yeah like the small range I showed it to you before but right now I still have two more open trades UPS dollar and USD Japanese yen I will keep you posted <laughs>
we've been at this Jazz Blues uh, event. There was a lot of stuff going on, a lot of people have been there. I ate at the night market and in the end I just also had my um, late night coconut. And after the coconut I took a grab home. So in Thailand and I think in a lot of different countries in Asia you can use grab where you can just order a scooter ta taxi and it's just a, a really small scooter that will drive you home and it's super super cheap you pay like one dollar fifty and it will drive you home through the traffic so you don't have to drive on your own and yeah it's actually not super late it's like uh, even before 10 p.m but i like to go to bed early so i will get up in the next morning early and then i can have a productive Day. Just before I go to bed I, bed, I usually have a look at the trade. So here we can see the trades of today. Yeah, I will just have a look at this account that I talked about a lot today in this vlog. And you can see it's actually not a good day. Exactly what I said could happen in USD Japanese yen happened. We had a short trade first, stopped out. There we had this buy trade. And then just like one hour ago, we had some crazy spikes going on, stopped out the buy trade. And yeah, now there's just 1% loss in this account. And then we also have the GPS dollar. First trade was short trade, was stopped out in the spike. And now we have one long position, but I won't wait for this to close. Yeah, I won't sit around for one more hour just to wait for the trades to close, either profitable or negative. I will see this tomorrow in the morning because tomorrow is another day. So yeah, this was the first complete day that I recorded in a vlog format. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Actually, it is so much to record every single step you do on a day. And in the afternoon, I had like four hours where I didn't record anything. So actually I could have recorded even more, but yeah, I think this was enough for a first vlog. Um, let me know in the comments if you like this format. If a lot of people actually appreciate it, maybe I can do it again. Not like every day, of course, but maybe once a week. So let me know what you think. I would love to hear your feedback. Also, if you want to learn more about automated trading, like how it goes over a longer period of time, what my projects go like uh, with the FTMO and stuff, make sure to subscribe so you do not miss out anything. And as always, give a thumbs up if you liked it. So when you watch this, I wish you a great day and as always, good trades. Bye-bye.